Ben and Sarah. A lot of back and forth between these three candidates tonight. Major issues discussed like gun control, abortion, and the economy. And a big divide appearing between endorsed party favorite Themis Claritis and the other two candidates, Peter Lamage and Leora Levy, both insinuating Claritis' views are more in line with Democrats than Republicans. Lamage and Levy trying to make clear they are the only real conservative candidates. That bringing true with their stances on abortion and gun control. Lamage saying he is pro-life and the Supreme Court got it right to overturning Roe versus Wade. But he says opponent Levy has flip-flopped on abortion. She says no, instead citing a change of heart, adding life begins at conception. On the other side, Side Claritis stating multiple times she is pro-choice. Another big argument tonight, whether Levy donated to a past Blumenthal campaign, Lamage and Claritis say yes, while Levy argues it was her husband's decision. My opponent mentioned she's referring to... 1998, my husband gave Blumenthal $100. That was an argument, but it wasn't worth risking a 37-year marriage over. You know, she denies the fact that she donated to Blumenthal that now she wants to defeat Blumenthal. So what do you get on Leeward? I don't know. At least you know what you get on me, a true conservative. She's not qualified um, to run for office. All she's done is, is raise money and, and given to Democrats along the way. I'll have more on this U.S. Senate primary race later this week. For now, reporting live in New Haven, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61 News. And you can expect more from Fox 61 heading into the primary. Thank you, Emma. Uh, just two weeks out from that primary right now, you can text the word VOTE to the phone number on your screen, 860-527-6161. <clears throat> And we'll send you back a link to our Connecticut primary guide with all the important information you need to be ready for primary day. You can also find that guide on fox61.com and on the free Fox 61 News app. All right, we have much more coming up here on the News at 10 tonight. New information from the state after this wild scene involving a CT transit bus. What officials are now saying about the state's fleet of electric powered buses. Plus, the West Nile virus is detected in Connecticut mosquitoes. More tonight on where it's been found. And grab your tickets, cross your fingers, and say a prayer. Someone <laughs> there could be a whole lot richer by the end of the evening. How much the Mega Millions jackpot has grown to tonight, Rach? And the only problem with this beautiful forecast is that we need some rain. We're going to time out the next chance and eventually talk about how much we need to fix this growing rainfall deficit coming up. Okay, yeah, yeah, they can see us. They're doing a mic check now. Out here in West Hartford tonight, we are talking mega millions, 800.
Welcome back here. Everyone's hoping that luck is on their side tonight as we await 11 o'clock. That's when the big Mega Millions drawing is set to be held. And on the line, a whopping $830 million That's jackpot. All? That's it. Fox 61's Alicia Machado is live tonight with those hoping to win, plus some much-needed advice if you do win. Alicia, oh, tell us. Oh, let's hear it. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, guys, no surprise. Everyone we spoke with tonight, uh, the, the biggest one that people said was a travel. They would use that money to go on a vacation. Well, that might take up a pretty penny. There's still going to be a big chunk left after that trip to Hawaii or maybe another far off place. The jackpot expanding to even more than this sign here at $830 million. So we asked a financial planner what some wise steps are that you can take with your money. Take a listen. Taking a chance on a ticket. Two dollars could change your whole lives, could change a lot of people's lives around here, too. Two dollars for a chance at winning an estimated $830 million in the next Mega Millions jackpot drawing Tuesday night. And with the jackpot that high, some new Britain players we spoke with couldn't resist. Definitely the fact that it's 800 mil, so, you know, after taxes and stuff, you're still going to go away with home with a lot of money. $487.9 million to be exact. That's the cash option. With that kind of money, we're talking over 20 million hot and buttered lobster rolls from Guilford Lobster Pound at 24 bucks each. More than 20 million pizzas from Pepe's and 19 million pizzas from Sally's at around $24 each. For sports fans, you could get more than 34 million Hartford Yard Goats tickets at $14 each. Or how about the Huskies? Over 27 million Yukon men's basketball tickets or 37 million tickets to the Yukon women's games. We asked hopeful players, what would you do if you won? I would take care of my family and go on a bunch of vacations. If I won the mega million, uh, I'll definitely buy my mom a house and invest. <laughs> Get myself a big house for me and my four grown daughters and use the money wisely. So what does using the money wisely look like? We asked financial planner Elliot Weisberg with the Investor Center in Avon, who grabbed some tickets himself for fun. You should enjoy your newfound winnings. And just scale it properly so that you can take care of it and enjoy it and the home doesn't become a burden. You know, you buy a $25 million home, it needs a million dollars worth of work every year. When it comes to giving money to family, friends, or charities, Weisberg has this advice. There we almost always say, wait, you can do that. Just not today. You know, we want to make sure who do you really want to do this for? What makes sense? And, and so the idea is don't rush. Now, Weisberg also recommends hiring a team of financial advisors, including an attorney, accountant, and financial planner. You can catch those numbers. They'll be drawn tonight at 11 p.m. on our sister station, the CW20. We'll also have the winning numbers for you live right here on Fox 61 News at 11, so stay tuned for that. We're live in West Hartford tonight. Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News. That's a